Hi, this is Renan Joran. In this third video in this series, I'm going to cover the need for a feasibility study with the component suppliers, at least some of the component suppliers. So, what you don't want is go like this and then blow up on some mines. When you develop a new product, you don't know what the main risks are. Um, you can think of some of them, but sometimes the component suppliers know about some of these risks so you need to get them to help you on that okay so poor communication also is a big problem sometimes uh, the suppliers don't know exactly what is needed so how can they help you do a good job uh, if they don't even know how they can help what it means for them okay um, help get their help they are an integral part of the success of the project. Again, use them as much as possible. So one very good way of enlisting their help is to do a feasibility study with them. And this is at the beginning when you select them. Maybe you haven't even made a prototype yet or you have made some prototypes, but now it's time to start to work with good, good suppliers. They can do a good job in production okay you need to get their help to know where the mines are basically okay so um, some problems very common problems is that their salespeople might not look at the details so you need to go over the details with them uh, this can often be done in a WeChat call a Skype call something like that or a physical meeting if they're not far away um, also, very often they don't want to worry about the small details. They will say yes, yes, okay, no problem. They want to get into production as fast as possible. They want to make, they want to ship, and they want to be paid. Well, you need to slow them down. This is especially true for the suppliers of custom components, custom made. You don't want them to go ahead to rush into production. No, the first time they make the custom made component, they need to slow down and think and you need to ask the right questions and what you want to avoid is what they call chabudo where they think yeah well we guess this is good enough well is this good enough for them is it also good enough for you for the customers sometimes it's not so slowing down and thinking is very important now here's a, an example where a manufacturer should have involved their key suppliers they made headphones. This was a few years ago, a specialized uh, supplier of headphones. Usually they were making headphones with a lot of plastic parts. And they had to make a nicer headphone with plastic and wood. And what they did is they used the, the usual kind of glue for this. The problem, they did not even ask their glue supplier if the usual glue was a good, uh, the, the proper type of glue for that. What happened is that the glue, after a few weeks, a few months, uh, did not hold out as uh, as needed, and then there was a rattling sound, and the headphones were kind of falling apart. And then when we pulled in the glue supplier to get their comments on that, they say, "Whoa, no, of course not. This is not the proper glue. If you want to have wood and plastic come up together, it's another kind of glue." Okay, uh, so a very simple feasibility study with them. To confirm that it's the right kind of glue and what can you think and so on would have addressed this problem and completely prevented it actually so the benefits as i said financial benefit obviously you don't want wasted efforts to rework you don't want scrap you don't want all kinds of problems quality problems in the field and also reduce lead time because when you find some problems too late well, very often there is an impact on timing. It creates delays. Okay, so some questions that are very common. First, ask them, hey, do you feel confident? Look at the tolerances, for example, on the drawings, on the CAD drawings. What do you think of this and this and this, especially on, on the CTQ points? And maybe they will say, well, we're not really sure about that. Okay, then maybe the design needs to be changed. Uh, maybe uh maybe the process has an issue maybe it's the wrong supplier okay better know this up front rather than after production do they understand all the requirements 
Do they understand the full product? Uh, well, can they think of certain risks? This is very, very powerful. Again, let's go back to the example of the glue supplier. They could have said this would not work. Okay, And then do they have any suggestions? Well, suppliers, if you ask them the right questions at the right time, especially with a sample in the hands or a sketch in front of them, might help you a lot in your design for manufacturing reviews and, and planning. Okay, And then if they are not sure, they can't really present assurances, well then maybe try to think of a small scale test, maybe uh, having them make a prototype, um, maybe some other ways, but there are, there are often ways to confirm something that is not clear for them yet. Okay, but don't just say, we think it's going to be okay. Oh, okay, then everything is fine. No, it, this doesn't fly. You need them to say, we know it's okay because such and such, based on facts. And how long does it take? Well, you, you know, as little as one hour, uh, or sometimes just a, a 10 minutes call, actually, would be okay. But don't skip it. The point is, don't skip it. Otherwise... You let things go through tooling, mass production, shipment. Some issues might come up way too late and be extremely expensive. And that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Again, don't hesitate to uh, click on the little icons below to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.